hook, line, and sinker. Hook back, Spanish Amiga. Play it back, Jack. Yeah, this is Dennis Al Capone, you know, original DJ from the 70s. Jamaica DJ music started way, way back, right? Um, when I was a kid growing up in Jamaica, I used to listen to sounds like Sir Coxon's Round Beat, King Edward's The Giant, people like Count Bell's The President, Tom the Great Sebastian, and all them sounds used to come on Walton Park Road. Listen to great DJs like King Stitch, Cuttings, Sir Lord Comic, Opton, and people like those. Later on, I started listening to Uroy and King Toby's Hi Fi. Yeah, in the early days, um, like Sir Coxon's days with King Stitch, there was not a lot of um, riding the rhythm with those DJs. It's more or less introducing the record or telling you about the dance that's coming next week or the week after. You know, it was all about that. But when the record is playing, the only thing you'd hear from the DJ sometimes is chick 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 Ah, yeah! And, but we kind of changed that in, in the later years. Instead of that, um, that sound, you get, yeah, yeah, yeah! When I first heard um, King Tubby's playing with you at the control, it was a marveling um, situation. I was really um, taken in by it, you know, because the King Tubby's introduced a thing called reverb. Right, like when you or I would talk on the mic and the echo, he would say, This coming Saturday night, 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 all road lead, 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 lead to the place called Port Henderson Beach, Beach, you know, that kind of echo. Right? Stick around, don't be no clown, or maybe you can see what I put down. The music I must to be my musical business. And so we'll be young around, they just got to let the good times round. Even from a chop to the very last drop, ain't no need to go for comp because of your musical lollipop and don't do back, you know? Yeah. Them days, it blow your mind when you listen to you and Mike. It was so wonderful. You know that um, it get the crowd really excited. And the dub played part, whenever, whenever he, he would play a vocal, then he would lift up the, 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 the turntable, um, the arm, and you would think that when you put it back down, you're going to hear the same vocal. Then all of a sudden, you hear a rhythm, you know, and the whole place go wild. When you I came on the scene, I can remember one morning, I wake up and I heard this song, um, Wake the town and tell the people. And I'm listening to this song and I said, but this, this is different, you know. And in a few days' time, the whole Jamaica was captivated by you I you know, with his tone, and if you can listen to that record, you can hear the reverb coming through on it as well, just like King Tubby's and in the dance hall. But by this time, DJ um, songs was the in thing in Jamaica. The singers couldn't get a look in at the time. Everybody wanna be a DJ now, you know, because that's what was selling. But when Big U came on the scene, you know, the music changed, because we we were working on the rock steady rhythm before. The music changed now to a more drum and bass type of music, right? And Big U was very versatile on that kind of rhythm. So we were kind of put in the background there with the rock steady thing. You know, because a new a new music came on the scene, and that was a man Uri style. Our style was, was was rock steady. We were in the rock steady era. Then you have people like Dillinger, Trinity, and the rest is history.